I can command my day, that I can begin to cause things to shift and to change by what I speak. There is a right now word that God wants to release. There's a word in us that he wants us to release and understand. And so he said, do you want to know what heaven has declared over you? Heaven has already declared some things already, but we have to align it with the word of God and bring heaven to earth. And we can bring it to earth by what we speak prophetically. That is the power of the spoken word. What God has given us, us, us purpose. He has given us understanding and destiny, but he allows us to discover it. Once we discover it, what his blueprint is. What is happening in the invisible world, world when you speak? Speak God's word. You talk about it being hovering over us. Explain. Right. Even as the word, even as God's spirit hovered over the deep in Genesis, Genesis chapter one, the deep of the waters. And so his spirit to me by revelation is he's hovering over us. Even the Bible says in Jeremiah that he watches over his word to see that it's performed. There's words that are hovering over people. There is prophetic destinies that are hovering over people. There are promises of the Lord in heaven that are hovering over people. And so God had likened it as his word hovering over us, he watches over it just like an eagle or a mother hen that broods over her eggs and see it hatch, to see it to come to pass, to see it to come to manifestation. That's what God's word does is he hovers over, he watches over his word and he protects us. Our prophecy protects us. Our promise and our destiny, even mantles protect us. 